Hey everybody, this is Arathas and welcome to Rebel Inc. Escalation, a strategy game that takes a little bit of a different approach than most in that you are actually in charge after the invasion has occurred and the military has moved on. So in this situation, you are trying to get the support of the people, basically the hearts and minds thing. You're trying to get the region to be 100% stable. You're trying to get support from the locals and you have to fight off insurgents, which based on this map, what they told us, apparently the insurgents are going to be coming from these mountains. Now, the way you do this is you can hire military units and you can do various operations that will make people happier, support you over time, that kind of thing. And also, the more of that stuff you do, the higher the corruption gets, which can be a problem as you will lose money. So, let's get started with the civilian initiatives, because these are the ones that will help us get the hearts. So, we're going to buy, basically, what was that, services discussions? Work with the local people to understand their education, healthcare, water, and sanitation requirements. So, we'll do that. And I do want to do the water one because apparently how this game is going to work is it's going to spread out to 25 different zones over time. This is our main zone, so it's just going to start gathering. Now, let's see if there's any way to get intel. Also, the name of our organization, our initiative is Brutal Dedication. You're able to randomize that stuff. Okay. Can't hire any military at the moment. So let's see if we go over here. Understand the roads, power and telecom requirements and development. I don't want to hit a cut too many initiatives at once because it can also raise inflation, which makes this crap more expensive. Increases support level. Nah, we'll, we'll hold off on that. I think I'm going to go with district representatives because it'll help us get intel on the zones around us. Yeah, these dark ones here, we have no intel on. All right, let's unpause the game and let things move along. To win, stabilize 100% of the region. Yep, we have 0%. But these little hammers are where our initiatives are going out. And apparently an asteroid narrowly missed Earth. The reputation bar shows how long until you lose. Brutal Dedication's reputation is limited, and the bar on the right shows how much time you have left. It's normal for re your reputation to decrease over time, but if it drops to zero, you lose. Lovely. Oh, it's not at zero now. It's not at 80 anymore. That kind of sucks. Okay, so we got to move faster. Operation. I kind of want to, it's going to lower our support level, which I don't like, but having a militia to fight back against the, having a militia to fight back against the insurgent sounds like a good idea, but I think we're going to start with the PR and media office. Done. All right. Yeah. Okay. And I think let's go over here and open up infrastructure. And we'll stop right there. We'll let our stuff build up. Oh, yeah, that, that actually increased. Holy crap. Brutal dedication receives funds every month. Your budget is based on your reputation and the number of zones you've stabilized. Your superiors need confidence in your ability to get the job done. It would be nice, though, if you guys actually, you know let me have a military because I'm pretty sure I'm going to run into insurgents sooner rather than later. Okay, so inflation's pretty low. I think we should hire, we should do a bit more over here. Bonus to construction, combat, and intel. I like that. Make zones more accessible. Gives bonus to construction. Let's do that as well. I'm going to go over to the government, and we are going to decrease corruption. What does this do? 
request help from global charities and NGOs maybe later. For now, let's spread out all this stuff. Yeah, because corruption is quite high, <laughs> unfortunately. We need to we need to decrease that. We need to decrease that now. I mean, we're doing all right for now. The count is steadily going up. Infrastructure is spreading. Beautiful. And yeah, with the inflation, as far as I can tell, the inflation is just going to go down on its own from what the tutorial said as well. I like that we're building roads and stuff as well. What do you mean SARS? We don't need SARS here. We're good. We good, man. Don't, don't throw that stuff at me. All right, we got some more cash. I know corruption is quite high. So we're going to throw out another anti-corruption thingy. Let's see, outreach office. Oh, re speeds up the rollout of initiatives. Let's do that. And let's increase our intel gathering. Insurgency rumored. Military initiatives authorized. Insurgents are preparing to attack the region. Military initiatives are how available are now available. Deploy soldiers to defend the region. Well, I don't really have the cash for that, but okay. I guess I have the cash for one. Interpreters and guides. Soldiers gather intel quicker and increase local support. Let's do that as well. We want local support. Soldier training on the left of the screen. Soldiers being trained. You can see their progress on the deployment token. When they are ready, deploy them by dragging the token to a zone. So what I kind of want to do is I kind of want to put them on here because if I put a group of soldiers here, soldier deployed in Charlie Tango, your soldier's been deployed in the zone. You can drag the soldier token to move to different zones. Now, I want another soldier to be deployed here. Because they can't just hop across the water. They have to cross the bridges, would be my guess. Insurgents reported in Delta Kilo. Uh, preventing stability. Left unhindered, they will take over the zone. Deploy soldiers to stop them. Can I, though? From what I understand, you can't actually stop the enemy until you surround them. Like, if I attack them, they're going to run. They have to be surrounded to stop them. However, we have cash. Can I hire another one? Slowly train a permanent national soldier. Okay, I like that. Slower and weaker than coalition soldiers. I don't like that. But much less likely to antagonize the locals. We have time. I can wait. Yeah, we don't have much intel, so I'm assuming this is just straightforward fighting. Our soldiers are fighting to defeat the insurgents. The bar shows how the battle is going. Place soldiers in adjacent zones. Increases your strength and helps stop insurgents from escaping. See, that's the thing, is they're going to keep trying to run away. Can I get started on another military unit? I can. Let's train two units at once. So I can get my coalition soldiers here quickly. Ah, oh, they took it over. Okay, I have to deploy you here. And I'm going to push you here to support. We want to keep them from getting across the river. Excellent. See, they're providing support to that already. Clean water supplies rise dramatically. Good. Brutal dedication. Love the name. <laughs> it's improving water supplies in the region. The number of people dying each year from dehydration has fallen by 48%. You're welcome. Uh-oh. Yeah, I need to get somebody over here fast. Insurgents escape to Foxtrot Kilo. Insurgents always try to escape to neighboring zones when they are beaten. To destroy them, surround them with soldiers to cut off their escape routes. Insurgents can't cross rivers or the edge of the map. Then I want you to go over here because then we can lock them down.
And when this dude is trained, I'm going to actually position him here. Or I might actually position him to begin the assault here. You know, when I have the cash. Can I have another military unit? Oh. Civilian casualties possible. Let's not do that. What's a garrison? Intel and combat support. Ooh. I kind of want that. What's that mean? Sight and Delta Kilo chosen for brutal dedication garrison. Build a garrison. See, the reason I want to do that is now I can do this. And then when this is deployed, I can put it here to prevent retreat. I think I might be able to kill this dude. Yeah, see, there's the support. But you move here and you get deployed right there. Excellent. They have nowhere to go. Those are some dead insurgents. Ah, civilian. Okay, let's buy telecoms and electricity for support. And then we need to deal with corruption. There we go. And again, it lowers corruption over time. Insurgents destroyed in Foxtrot Kilo. Uh, they were completely destroyed in battle as they were surrounded by brutal dedication and unable to escape to a neighboring zone. So they, they should disappear any second now, right? All right, cool. Everybody get in a position. And I will hire a new troop to actually advance into that territory. We have the coordinates for an insurgent camp in Gulf Sierra, which has been launching attacks on surrounding zones. Use soldiers or airstrikes to destroy it immediately. Okay. They will provide support though, right? Yeah, they are. Warning corruption rising. I know I'm working on it. All right. Okay, cool. So all the firing is happening. Good Lord. <laughs> Ugh. I would like more troops, though. I have garrisons liaise with deployed soldiers to reinforce them during combat situation. Significantly increases combat bonuses that soldiers receive from garrisons. I don't know that I'm actually getting much support from garrisons. I'm going to do it. And then I think I have the cash. I don't have the cash. Except I can deploy national soldiers. Let's do that. I know I'm broke now. <laughs> but this is going to make it so he can actually destroy this. Insurgent camp destroyed. The insurgents will set up a new base. Keep an eye out for it. I will. But now this is locked down. Insurgents escaping from our soldiers. Yeah, they're going to run up here. But that does mean these regions are mine. So when I get this dude, I can send him straight in. Local road infrastructure improving. Good. All right, well, if you're going to do that, I'm going to do this. So yeah, all these guys are under support. I can get some troops here. We can advance and just basically stop the retreat. We're basically just going to chase them into the mountains. Oh, crap. Some of them are running back this way. Can, can, can you guys stop? I'm going to move you here. Lack of stability slightly impacting your reputation. I'm working on it. They can have that region. I'll come for it later. What does that say? Oh. Build the garrison. Build the garrison. Thank you. 
Oh, it's in their base camp, too. You gotta get over here. You gotta stop them from moving. We gotta stop them from being on this side of the river. Insurgents threaten high population area. Nope. We need to lock them down right bloody now. I just don't have the troops. All right. I need more troops. What does this do? Increases national soldiers movement speed and combat strength. Yes. Government. Deal with corruption, please. I like how now it's like corruption purge. Provides a one-time decrease in corruption. I like that. Oh, cool. Let's also do that. This will actually do less corruption when funded. When I fund an initiative. Good. What's this? Luxury hotel. Increased zone support. Unknown chance of long-term. That's fine. Do it. No, you rat mother... Mm. Oh, I think we got him. Roads improve. Okay, we got him. He cannot go anywhere. Lack of stability. I get it. Cool. They're dead. All right, let's get the coalition soldiers over here. Okay, let's get everybody moving. When can I hit the corruption stuff? I need 13 and 23. Okay, we're gonna hold off for 13 and 23. Ooh, support is dropping. We know why. It's the insurgents. Increasingly dangerous. I'm working on it. Surprise attack. A new group of insurgents has been detected. They will have they will have come from a nearby base. Use drones and troops to find it. No, we found their base. Oh. Oh, we might lose those people. No, I can't do that. I can't do that. I can't lose them. We got a problem. Hmm. So basically, keep hiring national soldiers. Lose six reputation. You know what? All I need is one more tour of duty, dude. Just give me one more tour of duty. Alpha Victor is now stable. Excellent. Oh, no, 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 no. That's not how this works. Why do you think you can just move into this terror? Oh, are you kidding me? How did that work? They just walked right by? Concern over lack of education. You know what? I can work on that. That'll get me support right there. Isn't this my territory now? What's going on? Stop them from moving, guys. Stop them from moving. They still have room they can run from. I don't... 
Come down. Man, I need that other soldier deployment. Because then I can... Ooh. Ow. That's going to hurt. No! Locals in Foxtrot Oscar angry about coalition. So I know. Okay, I know. <laughs> Guess what? You can't run if I do this because there's a garrison. Which means you guys are trapped. Unless there's a zone up here, but it doesn't look like. You got that? You got that. What do you need? Agree to fund a region-wide tournament. Yes. Oh, look at you. Guess where these troops are going to deploy to. What do you need? Unofficial contact with insurgent leaders. Prior talk. It will take the negotiators a long time to agree to a peace deal. Negotiations go quicker if the insurgents feel threatened. They should feel threatened. See, peace progress on the right-hand side. Okay, I see that. I'm going to send you here, you here, and you here. The insurgents do not escape. Also, when we have money, <laughs> which we do not have at the moment brutal dedication sees more family homes powered thank you for that okay i don't understand how the game is okay with that like all of a sudden it's like now their troops are here brutal dedication gives insurgent negotiators what they want giving in makes you seem weak no Lose three reputation. No, nope. imprison all insurgent leaders. Gain four reputation and antagonize them. I don't care if we antagonize them. Like, legitimately, I care not. Come on, block this path, block this path, block this path. That sucks that they can do that. That they can just pop right through. Government apologizes. Man, you can kiss my insurgents apologize. And then you can move here. Yes. So they are all blocked in. Now I want you to move here because once I kill these insurgents, I can focus on these insurgents. You know, I got it. I know. I know what's happening. Go home. You suck, but go home. What the? F How the? F okay. All right. Give me another set of these dudes. Insurgents fire rockets from the luxury hotel rooftop. Oh, you mother. The hotel in Alpha Victor represents an ongoing security risk. And insurgents have exploited the lack of building security to launch a surprise attack on the zone. That's what happened. Okay. Drive them away. I'm sorry. You took the city? No. Screw insurgents. Hard line. 
Okay, cool. I want you here. I want you to invade. And I want you here. Everybody gets to moving. These guys are going to be wiped out period uh, shortly is. Yes. What do you need? Insurgents hand in all weapons. Yeah, we're taking a hard line. I don't know what you guys think this is. Oh yeah, increase the strength of my units. You need to push these guys back, guys. You need to move now. Insurgents banned. Yes. Go away. We took that back. Excellent. Okay. Lock these dudes down now. Give me money. Give me money. Give me money. There was something in the military. This. Security checkpoints. The enemy cannot spread as quickly. Oh, we found bases everywhere. Medicine supply chains. Good. Good. What you need? I need an extension. Our reputation is doing really well, though. Will you look at this. I'll just hop right over here. What was that? Oh, we destroyed their camp. Okay, a potential peace agreement is ready to be presented to the leadership on both sides. How should brutal dedication proceed? We can sign the deal. Stand up to them by rejecting the deal. Eh, I like my deal. Agree. Brutal dedication. The insurgents have agreed a permanent peace deal, which takes effect immediately. So it makes it easier to stabilize the region. Process to span 10 insurgents reduces your reputation. Okay, so we lost a chunk of reputation. However, everything is being taken over now. Beautiful. It's done. And the insurgents are bottled. Like, there's not really anything they can do. I know the game's essentially over at this point, but still. I can use some of this stuff. We had the reputation to do this, and all the insurgents are gone, it looks like. Regional stabi stability, 100%. Operation Brutal Dedication successfully stabilized the whole region in 2011 by signing a, pre a peace deal with the insurgents. People have hope for the future. All right, so 100% peace, 627 turns, 12% support, 100% stability. We did well. So, I really like this game. I gotta say, it's a uh, fairly minimalistic, but like the uh, visuals, but I do really like this style of game. Now, there are multiple advisors you can unlock. I had no no advisors because I don't have any unlocked. There are multiple leaders you can unlock. I picked the generic basic one, but you can get generals and stuff like that later on with each have their own abilities. And there are multiple maps to play. This was just the only one that's unlocked at the moment. The more you play, the more you unlock. So I'll leave it up to you guys. If you guys want to see more, then please let me know in the comments below. So I know that you guys are interested. And if you liked the video at all, then please, by all means, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, share, whatever combination of those actions suits you today. And with that, I'll see you guys next time.